This is my grandfather's uh, steel MS two hundred and eleven C. Supposedly it blew up, but it turns. The engine turns, and looks like it has compression. I'm gonna take the exhaust off and see what's going on in there through the exhaust port. So this is the muffler. Piston and the cylinder look just fine. But no, everything looks more or less normal. There's a little scratch on the uh, piston on the left side of the exhaust port. You can see it. I'm going to see what the spark plug does. So let's do the basics, check the spark. We do have spark. I'm going to take this cover off and see what's going on here. Maybe I can see some loose vacuum hoses or something like that. This may also be a reason why it's not working. Now I'm going to take off the clutch so this is the oil pumps uh, worm gear I would like to get this uh, flywheel off I have no idea how I'm gonna get it off. Is there a special puller for this thing? Rah, something to clamp on to these edges back there. I took the handle off of the saw to get access to the cylinder or the engine bolts. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to get the aluminium part out of this plastic part. I'm gonna have to take it apart because I want to change the seals and I can't access this seal here because this oil pump is in the way and probably I'm gonna have to take this bottom half of the engine off to reseal it with some uh, gasket maker and make it airtight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a puller. So this is what I came up with. Uh, I drilled holes through the rotor here. So I created uh, points where I can pull it. I don't know how it's gonna affect the balancing of this rotor. Hopefully not bad. So second try with a longer bolt. Nice and warm. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, great success. You heard the bang. That was on tight. Dang. Now this engine should come off. And this is the chainsaw. I got the new seals. Uh, these are steel original. They were 440 a piece. 
which is pretty expensive for a couple of seals but maybe they are made from some kind of special material that uh, are resistant to high revs of the crankshaft and such but yeah we'll see <coughs> I got this engine cleaned up and I'm gonna pry it open with a screwdriver This side has a clamp on it, <coughs> which I have to remove. So now I can pull off the old seals. Yeah, I can see the difference. These are shut. So yeah, the piston is not that bad, looks like it can take more abuse. The cylinder is also pretty good, so I'm gonna clean everything up and put it all back here. I'm going to have to lift the crankshaft up a little. Now I can press it in. Now the cover. That is on. I think it's enough. Nice and new seal in there. And now I'm gonna have to put everything together. The ignition coil and the rotor have to have uh, clearance in between them. And this is where the receipt paper comes in. So nothing is touching, which is good. The engine is pretty hard to turn over, which is also good. That's a wrap, I guess.